Knowledge World. Welcome to Knowledge World. Choose a topic. Life in the sea. Choose a subtopic. Life near the shore. Choose an entry. Seal. Move your joystick to select Press the colored buttons to play sound or video. A seal's body is long, smooth and flexible. Perfect for swimming. Most seals live in cold climates. They have a layer of fat called blubber beneath their skin to keep them warm. True seals don't have ears, which makes their bodies even smoother for faster swimming. Seals are carnivores, which means they eat meat, or in this case, fish. Walrus. Move your... There are two types of walrus, Atlantic and Pacific. A walrus can use its tusks as huge hooks to help it climb on ice. A walrus's tusks can be as long as three feet, one meter. That's about the size of a two-year-old human child. Sea otter. Move. Sea otters are very playful animals. A sea otter cracks open shellfish by banging on it with a rock while floating on its back. Sea otters have webbed feet, just like ducks. The shape of a sea otter's body helps it move very quickly through the water. Seaweed. Move. Seaweed looks like a plant, but it is actually a simpler type of living thing called algae. Some types of seaweed can grow to over 100 feet in length. That's 33 meters. The Sargasso Sea in the North Atlantic Ocean is named for the huge mass of seaweed that grows there. Seaweed shows up in all kinds of things. Food, fertilizer, cosmetics, even ice cream. Abalone. An abalone is also called an ear shell because it looks like a human ear.
The inside of an abalone shell is lined with a shiny, colorful substance called nacre. The shiny nacre inside an abalone's shell is also called mother of pearl. Abalone shells are often made into jewelry and other decorations. Abalone Life in the open ocean. Well. Move your joystick to Whales look like fish, but they are mammals. Some whales have a thick layer of fat under their skin, called blubber. It helps keep them warm in cold waters. The blue whale is the largest living creature on Earth. Its heart alone is as large as a car. There are two types of whales, toothed whales and baleen whales. Sponge. The sponge is an animal with a soft, stretchy skeleton that is great at holding water. Since sponges don't move around much, for a long time they were thought of as plants. Most sponges live in salt water. Dolphin. Dolphins live in seas all over the world. Like humans, dolphins are warm-blooded, breathe air, and nurse their young on milk. According to sailor lore, a dolphin swimming alongside the ship is a sign of good luck. Dolphins are known for how smart they are and how well they learn. Jellyfish. Move your joist. The body of a free swimming jellyfish is 99% water. A free swimming jellyfish is called a medusa. Jellyfish swim by flexing muscles around the rim of their bell-shaped body. Jellyfish stings can be poisonous and very dangerous to humans. 
starfish. Move your Starfish are not really fish. They are a type of spiny animal called an echinoderm. A starfish moves around on tiny tube feet. A starfish eats other animals by sticking its stomach out of its body and digesting the animal or swallowing it whole. A starfish can regenerate or regrow missing body parts. A whole new starfish can grow from just a piece of an arm. Life on the ocean floor. Ray. Electric rays, like electric eels, are very shocking to predators. A ray is a cartilaginous fish, like a shark. That means its skeleton is flexible. Rays are flat and wide, with huge side fins that help them glide slowly through the water. The largest rays are called manta rays, or devil fish. They can weigh more than 3,000 pounds, 1,360 kilograms. Ray. Crab. Move your joystick. Crabs can walk sideways. Some crabs shed their shells when they get too small and grow new ones. This is called molting. Unlike other crabs, hermit crabs are not fully covered by their own shell, so they have to live in the abandoned shells of other animals. As a hermit crab grows, it outgrows its shell and has to find a bigger one. Octopus Do you think you know the plural of the word octopus? Whatever you think, you're probably right. Both octopi and octopuses are correct. The octopus is the most famous eight-armed creature in the world. Well, it's hard not to be famous when you have eight arms. An octopus has a soft body and suckers on the underside of its eight arms.
When an octopus is in danger, it shoots out an inky substance to confuse its enemy and escape. Coral The body of a coral is tube-shaped, with stinging tentacles coming out of its mouth. A coral may look like a plant, but it is an animal. Stony corals make a hard skeleton that can grow into a whole coral reef. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the world's largest coral reef system. Coral. Nautical knowledge. The seven seas and beyond. Pacific Ocean. Move your... The Pacific Ocean covers one third of the world. The Pacific Ocean is the world's largest ocean. There are 20,000 volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean. The tops of some of them form islands. The Pacific Ocean's Mariana Trench is deeper than the world's tallest mountain is tall. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Move. The Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious part of the Atlantic Ocean where ships and planes have disappeared. The Atlantic Ocean is half as big as the Pacific Ocean. Asia and Australia are the only two continents that do not touch the Atlantic Ocean. The ancient Greeks say that an island named Atlantis sank into the Atlantic. People are still looking for it. Arctic Ocean The Arctic Ocean is the world's smallest ocean. The North Pole is at the center of the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean borders North America, Europe and Asia. Southern Ocean The Southern Ocean completely surrounds the continent of Antarctica. The Southern Ocean is a little more than twice the size of the United States. The International Hydrographic Organization created the Southern Ocean in 2000. 
Before it was its own ocean, the Southern Ocean was parts of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Indian Ocean The Indian Ocean has not been around as long as the other oceans. The Indian Ocean is the world's third largest ocean. The Indian Ocean borders Africa, Asia, Oceania, and Antarctica. The Indian Ocean has fewer trenches than the other oceans. Indi Salty seafarers, Polynesian sailors, by the 8th century AD, Polynesian sailors had explored a million miles of ocean. Polynesian sailors found their way using the stars, ocean currents, and by watching the birds. Polynesian sailors traveled in double canoes that were tied together with crossbeams. Polyne Viking sailors. The Vikings were some pretty tough Scandinavian warriors who conquered most of Europe. The Viking's name reflected their violent habits. Viking in Old Scandinavian meant pirate. The Viking warship was called a longship. It had a sail and up to 30 oarsmen to power the ship. Vikings settled in Iceland by about 900 A.D. From there, they started colonies in Greenland and North America. Marco Polo Marco Polo was a teenager from Venice who traveled across Asia in the late 13th century. Marco Polo made his famous journey to China with his father and his uncle, who sold jewelry. While in China, Marco Polo met and made friends with the great ruler Kublai Khan. Altogether, Marco Polo's journey from Venice to the Far East lasted more than 20 years. When he got back home, Marco Polo wrote a book about his travels. It was called The Travels of Marco Polo. In Marco Polo's time, the major trade route between Europe and China was called the Silk Road. In Marco Polo's time, Europeans called China Cathay. Marco Christopher Columbus Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer, born in Genoa in 1451. 
Columbus sailed from Spain with three ships, the Pinta, the Niña, and the Santa Maria. In Columbus's day, no one knew that the continents of North and South America lay between Europe and Asia. In all, Columbus made four voyages to what he called the New World. Blackbeard the Pirate Blackbeard was an English pirate in the 1700s whose real name was Edward Teach. In the early 1700s, Blackbeard robbed many ships off the Atlantic coast. A pirate is sometimes called a swashbuckler. This is an old word that means daring adventurer. There are many legends about the buried treasure of Blackbeard, which has never been found. Sea lore galore. Mermaids. A mermaid is a mythological creature that has the head and body of a woman and the tail of a fish. People believed that mermaids had special powers, like being able to tell the future. In folk tales, mermaids often steal things like combs and mirrors from humans. Some people think that mermaid legends were inspired by sea mammals like the manatee that nursed their young. Poseidon In Greek mythology, Poseidon was the god of the sea. Poseidon had some very weird kids. Orion the giant, a cyclops named Polyphemus, and Pegasus, the winged horse. Even though he was the god of the sea, Poseidon's name means Lord of the Earth. Poseidon is often pictured holding a trident, a three-pronged spear. Poseidon might have been jealous of his brother. He was the main Greek god named Zeus. Because his violent temper caused earthquakes and storms, people called Poseidon the Earth Shaker. The Romans had a different sea god. They called him Neptune. Sirens. Move your joystick to set. A siren in Greek mythology was a sea nymph. A nymph is like a goddess. Sirens were creatures that were half woman and half bird. Sailors heard the sweet songs of the sirens and were so enchanted they crashed their ships into the shore. The Flying Dutchman The Flying Dutchman was a ghost ship that was doomed to sail the seas forever. One version of the Flying Dutchman legend is about a sailor who gets lost in a storm.
In another version of the Flying Dutchman story, a sea captain loses his soul to the devil while playing dice. Ironically, the Flying Dutchman was lost near South Africa's Cape of Good Hope. For obvious reasons, sailors thought that seeing the ghost ship was a bad omen. German composer Richard Wagner wrote an opera about the legend of the Flying Dutchman. Ship shape. Types of ships. Galleon. A galleon was a sailing ship used for war and trade. Galleons were first built in Spain. The Swedish galleon Vasa is the only surviving galleon. It is on display in Stockholm. Longship The warships used by ancient Vikings were called longships. Viking longships were powered by up to 30 men rowing oars. Longships were up to 75 feet, 23 meters long and had a single sail. Steamship Steamships were the first ships to run on machine power. The first steamboat was built in France in 1783. American inventor Robert Fulton built a famous steamboat called the Claremont. It first sailed in 1807. In 1802, the English steamboat Charlotte Dundas tugged two 70-ton barges down a canal. The largest tankers hold over 300,000 tons of oil. A tanker is a ship that carries liquid, usually oil. Tankers are the largest of all ships on the ocean. Submarine A submarine is a warship specially made to operate underwater. Some submarines launch a kind of a missile called a torpedo. The first submarine was designed by William Bourne in 1578, although he never built it himself. The first real submarine had to be rowed by hand. Aircraft carrier. An aircraft carrier 
is a ship that planes can take off from and land on. Aircraft carriers are like floating military bases in the middle of the ocean. Eugene Eli was the first pilot to land a plane on a ship in 1911. Because a carrier's runway is so short, planes have to be tossed into the air by a catapult. The Bounty The Bounty was an 18th century British ship. Some of the Bounty's crew did not like how the captain treated them, so they rebelled. A rebellion on a ship is called a mutiny. William Bly, the captain of the bounty, was set adrift in a small boat along with 18 loyal crew members. Amazingly, Captain Bly and his men found their way to safety. Some of the mutineers founded a colony on nearby Pitcairn Island. The Cutty Sark. The Cutty Sark was a British clipper ship of the late 19th century. The name Cutty Sark, which means short shirt, came from a poem by Robert Burns. The Cutty Sark had her first voyage to Shanghai in 1870. The Cutty Sark, the Titanic. The Titanic was a British cruise ship that struck an iceberg and sank on its first voyage in 1912. More than 1,500 people died when the Titanic sank. Once it hit the iceberg, the Titanic sank in less than three hours. The, the Endurance The Endurance was a British ship that set out to explore Antarctica in 1914. Before it reached Antarctica, the Endurance got stuck in ice. Captain Shackleton and his crew had to abandon the Endurance, which later sank. The crew of the Endurance spent six months on a floating block of ice. In the end, all the members of the Endurance crew lived to tell their tale. The Queen Mary The Queen Mary is an ocean liner that made its maiden voyage in 1936. The Queen Mary is the only pre-World War II ocean liner that is still around. 
The Queen Mary is over 1,000 feet, 300 meters long, and weighs more than 80 gross tons. In 1942, the Queen Mary collided with the British cruiser Curacoa off the coast of Ireland. The Con Tiki The Con Tiki was a wooden raft that explorer Thor Heyerdahl sailed from South America to Polynesia in 1947. The Contiki was built from balsa wood. Balsa wood is very light and very strong, which makes it great for raft building. Thor Heyerdahl wanted to build a raft like the ancient South Americans would have built. The 